All right, guys, I finally got the sound yeah. to work. Yes. Finally figured it out. All right. So I need, I have a lot of stuff here. I actually, there's a few things I need to do. So one thing I need to do is we need to put the paint thinner on that one portrait. And then charge the cell phone. So I'm going to do that now. Eerie singing. Spooky, where's the ghost? Singing? I think it's coming from upstairs. Let's see. Where's the ghost? I don't see any ghost. This portrait right here we need to do. All right, we're not going to get in there, though. So let's, uh, Nancy? Oh, I know. I'm Make just... yourself blind. Wait, what? Call Charlotte home. I need to figure out what this means. Oh, I didn't see this last time. Even ghosts have their favorite haunts. Charlotte requests a meeting with you. Recite a rhyme with dreadful meter, where dreadful meter is at its peak. Make yourself blind. Don't dare peek. Call Charlotte home and hear her speak. She may just let you live. Hmm. That wasn't there before, though. Right? And peek. Is it talking about, like, this thing peeking? All right. Well, whatever. I just need to do. I think there's, um, what I missed was actually in here. The napkin. Yeah. That's what I need for the paint thinner. I think you just dab it. Well, we'll do, I'll do it in a second. And then I have, I think I have all the other items for the, um, oh no, the battery I needed, um, to charge a phone. I think I needed like coins or potatoes or something. Why not grab everything? I feel like some of these things weren't there before. I guess I just wasn't seeing them. I feel like I missed so much. All right. Wait, no, turn around. This is what I want. All right, so that's Clara downstairs, the older lady. I think her name's Clara, right? Um, was this a napkin I needed? Yeah, okay. Do I just rub There's it? something back there. Okay. What is that? Are those graves? Hmm, okay. Wait, is that it? Can I get any more? I mean, it... okay, I got it all. All right, I guess that's it. Let's go ask Clara what the hell that is all about. I'm so happy the sound's Hello. working now. Who else was in that old portrait with you? You know, hon, we had that covered up for a reason. I can't talk about it. Not right now. Please, just leave me be. But. Yes, hon. Goodbye. Take care. All right. So she's looking at those graves. All right. Whatever. God. All right. Put down the damn napkin, Nancy. You don't need the damn napkin anymore. I got all this shit. What did I need? The coins. But I have. All right. I have nails. I have oranges. I think actually I'm good. Yeah, we just need... Oh, wait, I still do need the coin. Oh. Alright, well. I need to find a coin. Somewhere. Oh, sweet. Okay. Hmm. And then we have a projector here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, let's charge a phone. Do I just go over here for it? Like, Time what do to I... recharge the battery. All right, so the orange. Oh my god, I'm, I'm really powering this motherfucker up. All right, put nails in all of them. Put the pennies. Now we need all right. these. Let's see if all those oranges did the trick. It's not charged yet. Okay, so we gotta wait a little bit. Nice. I don't know what else to do now. I feel like we did what hmm. we could. I need to find maybe something to look to project. Anything else here? No. Okay. 
Maybe I can ask this guy about the portrait. Hey. Do you know where the spookiest place in the house is? No. I'm still trying to find the least spooky place on the property. Goodbye. Right, Goodbye. Maybe the other guy, too. I want to talk to him really quick. No, you know what? I'll wait a little while because we're going to, like, find other things to ask him about. So, And I was just over there. I want to make sure. I feel like I'm missing stuff in here. I still want to die over here. Is it charged yet? <laughs> it's only been a second, but is it charged yet? Come on, phone. It's not charged yet. Well, how long does it take? Can we like use it while it's charging? Mm. So I pretty much, I I looked it up because I, I just, there was nothing else to do. Um, I pretty much have to wait for that to charge. So usually what like the walkthrough said, so I was like, what the hell? Is that usually people go and explore the cemetery while the phone is charging. So maybe if I talk to Wade, that'll make Either. it enough. Can I listen to What's over here? Oh, I haven't seen this before. Ooh, these were covered up. I wonder if these were also the ones, 54 souls in the um, painting. What? Nancy and Sandy, why didn't she say anything? She shook. She's too shook. This has no name. 54 souls. Hmm. Is there anything else to uncover? No. Okay, let's go ask Wade about that. Then hopefully the damn phone will be charged. Hi there. I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family had rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. Rip. None of them ever woke up again. That's when we split in two. Half saying this will never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue, and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. Ooh, it's about I to get juicy. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but I heard through a friend of the guy down the way. You know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked. Right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. What the fuck? I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. Oh shit, let's See go talk later. shit to Clara. Later. We need to go talk shit to Clara. Stat. Stat, we gotta talk shit to Clara. Sketchy ass Clara. She killed those people. Hello. Wade said you're the reason he went to jail. Is that true? No. Wade is the reason Wade went to jail. He said you were the one who pressed charges. Well, isn't he the chatterbox when it suits him? Is that true? Yeah, it is. What he doesn't get, what no one gets, is that I meant well. 
No matter how he explained it to you, he broke the law. He broke into the factory, he damaged thousands of dollars of equipment, and scared the workers half to death. I didn't think he'd go to jail, though, and he knows that. What did you think would happen? I thought community service. An officer to keep him away from his crooked friends so he would finally straighten up. I planned on dropping the charges, but once the ball got rolling, I lost control of it. Wade ended up sitting across from a judge who wanted to make an example. And that was that. Wade has wanted his revenge ever since. I even... Oh, it's stupid. I even suspected him of taking Jessalyn to get back at me. But he'd never do something like that. I mean, I don't think. Hmm. See you later. Take care. Interesting. All right. Is my phone charged, though? It better be freaking charged. I swear to God, oranges. It's not charged yet. Oh, my God. How long do you have to wait for it? Haven't done that. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Yeah, I guess we didn't find Jessalyn. Fair enough. Oh, my God. It's going to take 10 dick years. I don't have that kind of time. Weak ass oranges. Kidding me with this? Let's call, um, let's call people. See, you know, you never know if they have something else to say. Hi. See you later. <laughs> see, I, just, I just called to say see you later. Sorry, Addison. Savannah, call Bess. Hi. Ooh, yeah. Do you know anything about the factory accident? Nothing I can verify. It's been scratched out of the local history. Sketchy. When I was there, I expected to feel something when I stood near the old factory. And nothing? As many spirits as I expected. I only met one. Charlotte? That'd be the one. Dear sweet Charlotte, the terror of Black Rock Island. Tell me what happened when you met Charlotte. I'll tell you, hon, but you got to remember that you are not like me. What do you mean? I have opened the door to the spirit world, and you have not. And don't you dare do it ever. You hear? Yeah, I can agree to that. I mean, I'll try not I'll to. <laughs> the dead are I'm, I'm already children. seeing spirits. If you're out there leaving a trail of breadcrumbs, they will find you. Enough of the PSA. I snuck out there to the ruins on the anniversary of her death. I waited in silence for a long time. Nothing. You didn't say the rhyme? Oh, that. Oh, it's cute, but I wasn't looking for my daddy's brain-dead bloodhound. They come when they come, and in the dead of night, she came. Stood right beside me. Just me and her eye to eye for a hot minute. Finally, she reached for my wrist. She pulled me through a fog that became smoke and then fire. She pulled me back to the night she died. Could you see what happened that night? I couldn't see a thing. I, I could only feel the heat. I could feel how sad she was and how angry. I'm sorry, hon. Talking about it don't come easy. I'm just trying to fit the pieces together. What does Charlotte have to do with Jesslyn? All families got one thing in common. Every generation, just like the last. There's some rebels and some oddballs that break the mold. But for the most part, one generation gonna follow into the footsteps of the next. From what I gathered, Jesslyn seems to be cut from the same cloth as Charlotte. You ask me, if someone saw Charlotte as a threat, then Jesslyn's been born behind enemy lines. You said you opened the door to the spirit world. What did you mean? You really sure you want to know? Yes. I'm curious, and <laughs> no disrespect, but... Last time, I told you how my daddy got me interested in ghosts, but that's only part of the story. When I was young, there was a spot in my room where I could fold back the wallpaper. There was this gorgeous old wood behind it. I mean, to me it was. I'd trace the ripples in the grain with my finger for sometimes hours. Why? I don't know. I, I was a girl, and it was the only thing I knew about that no one else did. I don't know exactly when it started, but I began to trace a beautiful old willow into the wall over and over again. Strong limbs running up to the sky and the tangled roots grabbing tight at the dirt. 
I was obsessed. I traced the tree until I knew every detail. I even started to see it after a time. Little indentations in the wood. But one day, the lines felt strained and cold. And I realized it wasn't the wall I was feeling. <gasps> there was a girl on the other side of the wood. She was showing me what to draw. She was trying to tell me something. I should have shut my eyes tight and glued the paper back. But I didn't. And I couldn't. I let her teach me the shape of the tree again and again until one day I saw it in real life. What happened? Not a thing until a strong storm hit a few months later. I don't have to tell you what they found when they pulled what was left of the willow tree from the ground, now do I? That's mm. when I decided I would learn to listen. I knew even then it had come at a cost. I just had no idea how high. That fucking charge, that fucking phone better be charged after this long ass story. All right. Someone wants me to call a ghost. I don't know if I should. In my experience, when you try to call ghost, it goes straight to voicemail. <laughs> How sure are you? 95%. Less reassuring than I was hoping for. Think of it this way. In 100 parallel universes, only five Nancys get eaten by ghosts. Eaten? Metaphorically, for the most part. <laughs> Savannah, you are not helping. Oh, I'm just trying to loosen you up. You'll be fine, honey. Smart Money says this is just someone toying with you. But if you feel anything out of the ordinary, run and don't look back. See you later. All right. Goodbye. This motherfucker better be charged. I'm not calling Bess's ba basic ass. <sighs> Please. Oh, hell yes. Mm, looks All right. Like I need to figure out the password. Fuck. Of course, that's not it. Ghost. No, no, no. No, no. It's not gonna be ghost. The fuck is it gonna be? Um, maybe Addison would know. I think I can call her. I wish. You know this password, bitch? She's What's gonna up? ignore me. Oh. Can you help me figure out Jessalyn's password? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. The tombstone portion of our scavenger hunt? There was something strange about it. Can you think of a reason she would hide her password there? Wait, what did you Just get? Just in what? case something happened to her. I thought she said that to scare me, but maybe not. Uh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, so... the two, I didn't find anything in the tombstone. We did find this note. Oh my god, ten years later. Let's look at the scavenger list. I wonder if maybe it could be these numbers. Wait. Gravestone, epithet. Ooh. It's got to be something with these. Maybe I'll try those numbers. Oh, wait, but there was no number. There were no numbers. Okay. Huh. R-N-V-T-L-A. Wait, what if it's these letters right here? I'll try that. I better write that down, though. Because I don't think it's going to let me look. Oh, yeah, actually, it probably will. Let's see. Yeah, it'll let me look. All right. G R D V. G R D V. F N L G. F N L G. Damn it. God. All right. Anything else? Uh, fuck. Fuck. Okay, so. I think I have to go, I have to go to the, yeah, I have to go to, I think I might know what the letters are. Maybe, I, all right, the tombstones. So, cause look, these are all like people who are, at, are buried in the cemetery, like factory accident victims, grandma, you know, everyone's here. So let's see, Lee Thornton, I don't know who Lee Thornton was. He was like one of these though. Maybe he doesn't matter. He's irrelevant. Virginia, my mother. Rest her soul. All right, Can his you line. tell me anything no, about her? I don't need to know about her. Did I miss her? And I always will. No, maybe I didn't look at these. If he's telling me again. I don't think he'd do it twice. Yeah, I didn't see these, Luther, so it goes. My daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but oh. a soft heart. 
Okay, so no L.A. For business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, daddy. Two, five. So do you think it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Like, that's how you do it? So like, that would be a U and an E? Whatever, I'm gonna write it down, all right? I'm just gonna, I think I'm not gonna just really record most of this because it's just gonna take 10 dick years, so. I don't think you guys want to see me do that. I, Cause I don't even know if that's right. That's Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. Okay. I missed all these, I guess. Beauregard Thornton. Mean old codger. Yeah, I must have just started at these other. Over here. Yeah, I saw these. All right, I missed those let that front line, apparently. Well, Rosalie, uh, Rosalie was the grandma, right? No, Rosalie was the grandma. Okay, so great grandma eight one. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this because I don't know if that'll be the most entertaining thing to really record. All right, guys, I think I have it. Please cross everything you have, even though you will be in the future, so it won't matter. All right, I had P R D R Y R I W. Please. Fuck! I mean, what? Yes! Oh my god, I thought I didn't have it for a second. I thought I did that for like, oh my god. I was like, 30 minutes. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. I shouldn't make a call with Jessalyn's phone. Yeah, I should troll her mom and say, I've been found. No, I'm just kidding. That's awful. Journal. Ooh. Uh. All right. Let's start the oldest one. Eddie. Eddie, come here quick. I, I see something. Seriously? Shh, shh. Stay still. Listen. I don't hear. Ah! What? What's happening? I'm just practicing. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. All right, next. That is not the title of this program. Oh, and I suppose you have a better name? With this ring? Uh, the dead. No, that's weird, and you're weird for saying it. We're using mine. I'm Jessalyn Tara Thornton. And I'm Addison Abomination Hammond. And this is Ghost Talker Tours. This week, we're <laughs> going into Thornton Hall, the most haunted place in the known universe. Children around here grew up in fear of the dreaded Charlotte Thornton. Also known as my cousin. We're here to find. Ah! Oh, that is a spider. It is in my hair. <laughs> I don't even want to be alive anymore. Please just kill me. Got it. <clears throat> Look there. There it goes. Well, on the bright side, we can check spiders off the list. <gasps> that was the Black Widow. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Probably just gave it the scare of its life. It's not going to bother us. Kill it. Her or me. Okay, so floorboards, remember that. Where are we going? Are you sure you want to know? I'm just going to pretend it's a top secret, really nice hotel. We're looking for the rooms where Charlotte died. Remember when Elizabeth got married and we all watched rom-coms and ate caramel corn? I was just thinking, like, at no point that evening was I like, I'll die here. It just didn't come up. Maybe not for you, but two movies in, I was thinking fondly about my own mortality. Wait, what's that saying? The serpent rests in the center on the two handles. I think I know what that's about. Hmm. Oh, buddy system, Jess, where are you going? I know you're freaking out. I promise this will be quick. Are all of those coffins occupado? I gotta go outside. Just two seconds. There's some sort of message in the window. Yeah, I know. It says this building is for dead people only. <laughs> These are cute. Jess? Jessalyn, this isn't funny. Where are you? Jesse, I don't want to be alone. Please stop. Please, please come back. This isn't funny. I'm too scared. 
What the hell? Oh, it sounded like when maybe she was running. I don't understand. Are you okay? Jess, if this is a prank, it's not funny. Not funny! Jess, you're really scaring me. Say something! I said leave me alone. Now! Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Wait, I'm not done. Messages. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Okay, so Addison. Okay, get all this. Got all the stuff I need. Any chance you'll change your mind? Come on, it'll be fun. It had better be. Or what? Or I will reveal so much embarrassing personal information in my toast at your wedding. No toast for Addie. Noted. I'll just yell things out. You can't stop the A train once it's left the station. LOL. Do what you must, lick face. Please come back. Jess, I don't know if you're okay or not, but I miss you. Please come home. Please be okay. Did why? Did you get the invertebrates for parents texting? What? Invertebrates. Mom, that does not clarify anything. Invertebrates. Yes. No invertebrates. What? I'll make a note of that. No invertebrates. I am sending this photograph backwards. Okay. I hope that works out for you. Oh, my God. I am typing slowly and angrily. Did you mail out the things that tell people about the wedding for the people who are new to the list? Invitations, why? Because people need to know about the wedding. No, why meant yes, yes, I did, yes. Why didn't you just typewriters that? You're right, I should have typewriters to that. You might want to disable the predictive thing on your photograph. I do not know, I do not know how you do it. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to. Call me now. Jesse, I'm not joking. You call me right now. Your mom's on the warpath. She's on more than one. I recommend just doing what she says. This has to chill out once the wedding is done. I know, right? But it won't. All right, so called. And I think you guys pretty much figured that one out. Did you get my notes on the catering? Yeah, thanks. Did you want me to care about it more? Cause, because I can fake that if needed. LOL, no. Nope, I'm pretending to care for my mom. So you're pretending to care for me while... Being a nice touch isn't really needed. Cool, let's just get pizza. Ah, what? My mom just invited every single one of my teachers from kindergarten onto my wedding. Why? I have no idea. I think I owe some of, a few of them some homework. They can't be that bad. They're fine. That's not the point. What's the point then? You'll have to, you'll have time to figure that out yourself because I'm sure she's inviting yours too. Oh, you know, I think I get it now. Where are you? Everyone's freaking out. Hello. Okay, so that's her old phone then. I should use my phone to make a call. All right, we got motherfucking people to call after that. Addison, bam. Oop. Yeah? Let's get the juicy details. How did you get into the crypt? Just had a key, but I don't know what happened to it. Maybe that's what floor fell on the floorboards. I wait. Did they See say what later. fell on the floorboards? All right, later. Whatever, we need to look at the floorboards. All right, and then, what the fuck? Damn ass ghosts, back off. What the hell? Oh God, I secretly opened the spirit. Where the hell is Clara? Oh, well, she's not here. Can I snoop in? Did she have anything over here? Hmm, I guess not. Doesn't seem that way. All right. Uh, wait. Those floorboards? What floorboards? Yeah. <gasps> Ew! What the fuck? Kill it! Why didn't they fucking kill it? Ew! Kill it! Die! I'm gonna get stung this and die. Looks like some sort of code. Okay. Is that the crypt there? Draw a path to spell the name of the one of one of the four colors seen behind the letters without drawing over the same path twice, and then you get the um. Okay. Asterisk. Uh, um, okay, okay, okay. Wait, so draw a path to spell the name of one of the four colors. All right, so we got yellow without drawing over the same path twice. All right, I can go green. Go green or go home. Let's see. All right. Uh, green. Oh, no. Is there any other Ys? No, there's not. Okay, so it has to be this Y. I think it's yellow. This W makes me believe it's yellow. All right, so now I have to choose which E I want. Do I want to go down? If I go down here, I still need an L. 
and I'm going to need another L. All right, if I go this way, okay, L, L, O, W. Okay, that's it then. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Beautiful. All I ever wanted in life. That was really fun. Oh, more. All right, sweet. Draw a path through all the squares of the color that was spelled out on the first board. All right, so yellows. Oh, no. 